Okay, folks, we are trying to locate the famous Sam G land. Once you get here, the directions are kind of uh, strange. You pull into the Chevron parking lot. And it says to go to the right by the diesel pumps. And you jump the ramp. There's supposed to be a ramp, but I do not see no. a ramp, do you? No. I'm gonna go exploring, Tammy. I bet you can park back here. Okay, folks, the Sam G ramp that Roadside America uh, gives you as the way to get to Sam G land. There is no ramp to jump the curb over here by the, the diesel gas, gas pumps. So I'm gonna go on foot. I suspect I know the direction that it is. I'm gonna go around there and look and see if I can find it. Uh, see if I can't get in trouble with somebody for trespassing. Let's see what happens. Hi folks. Hi folks. Some of you that may have watched some of our older videos know that I'm a fan of Georgia folk art. And there's a place up here in Clarksville, Georgia, Sam G Land. Sam G Land is a like a folk art extravaganza. I believe Jacob the Carpetbagger has been here a couple times. He's a big fan. We're trying to find this place. Uh, the uh, Both uh, Roadside America and Atlas Obscura give some vague directions about showing up to a Chevron parking lot and looking for a ramp that you have to jump the curb out of the parking lot onto a gravel road. Yeah. We have circled this parking lot, come up on people picnicking. I'm sure by now they think we're casing the joint to rob it, but I think I've located the gravel road. We're gonna head to Sam G Land. Okay, for those of you wanting to visit Sam G Land, you come off of Highway 23. This is the highway that would take you all the way to the Smoky Mountains from Atlanta, if you were going that way. And once you get here on the side of the parking lot where the diesel pumps are, you will find the ramp to Sam G Land. And it is indeed a ramp. A ramp. Thank goodness we have a Jeep. I would not suggest coming down this road in a low clearance vehicle. And this is kind of an adventure, folks. Uh, normally I wouldn't just jump off and we're starting to come to some signs that look a little folk artish. There is no normal fasten seat belts. So after you jump the ramp into Sam G land, this is really an interesting uh, juxtaposition. When you come off the, the highway, you can hear it in the background. In fact, you can see through the trees, there's Busy 23 carrying folks up toward North Carolina and the Smokies. And then just right off the road, Cthulhu's children at play.
Sam has the world's largest grit. Some utensils. Dude, we've got some eggs back there, too. I think you probably had to boil that a while, huh, Tan? That's pretty good sentiment. <laughs> oh, wow. Remember the old guy that used to sit there in the corner and tell you? Yeah. Oh, yo, you scored him, huh? Yeah, she was getting rid of him a while back. And she gave him to me. I cleaned him up a little bit, but I, I, as soon as I get my porch cleaned up, I'm going to... This is my art studio and gallery. This is a junky mess. You, oh, this is cool. It is great. You and Hog have an art studio. I, this, I love folk art. I, I mostly collect uh, face jokes, though. Okay. But I like all folk art, any any kind. My office has a lot of stuff in it, huh? But, What's your name? Mike Ivy. Mike Ivy. And you're Sam Granger, right? Yes. The Sam G, okay. World famous Sam G. The world famous That's Sam G. You, I'm Sam Granger, but most folks call me the world famous Sam G for short. <laughs> that was sitting out in, uh, that was the, uh, remember sitting out in front of uh, the Tallulah Point Overlook store? That's what she was talking about, yeah. yeah. That was on the he used to tell you where the bathrooms were, and he'd greet you and tell you. Oh, he had a voice recorder. Yeah. I don't remember yeah, he, that. Yeah, he quit working a while, a good while back. But listen, back, he used to move, like his arm over here moving, his eyes and his mouth. <laughs> yeah, I, didn't, I didn't think about it until I was thinking about it, but, but somebody had those doll heads, and somebody gave me those little things that go on the lights. Uh -huh. That thing about it looked like you cut the head off of the blood drip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's what art is, isn't it? <laughs> now I like this one here with the uh, yeah, with the legs growing out of it. And there's a king. Cooking up a pot of babies. Tammy, is this not cool or what? Yeah. Oh my goodness, folks. If you are ever near Clarksville, Georgia, and you see a Chevron station off the side of 23, there is a wonderland waiting just outside that parking lot. It's time machine, Tammy.
sink turned into a, a cute little frog. Can't help but think of the late Howard Fenster, renowned Georgia folk artist. When I see this example of folk art, all of it coming together over acreage to tell a story in individual pieces of art. Whereas, but whereas Howard had more of a overtly religious vibe to his art, Sam has more of a more of a hippie vibe, which I can dig. Cause I married a hippie. And that little, that little robot up there sitting on that red bench, he's on the That is cold. Looks like we got John Wayne Gacy's nature trail back this way. I think Tammy could have brought a contribution for this. <laughs> You've laid a few to rest over time, haven't you? Yeah. We need this sign on the front door of our house. <sighs> this is crazy. It just keeps going off into the woods. I don't remember anything like that in the merry old land of Oz. No toilet paper shortage out here. And I think we're about to the end of the trail. We survived the Pogo Nature Trail.
Tammy. I'm gonna need you to come over here and kiss Sam's Sam's ass. <laughs> no.